always talks about him. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Next up is a little stage I like to call Great Balls of Fire. And it's a mercifully short stage. It's good for me. Alright, so if I remember correctly, we got a new ride. Wonder where it is. Oh, I was hoping it'd have big uh, bullhorns on the front. Oh well. I guess it's more of a Texas thing. So, uh, yeah. Gonna drive from Chicago to South Dakota. Is that a long trip? I think it is. At least by car. Alright. Oh, he's pissed off. He's real pissed off. You can tell by the music and the lighting on his face. Oh god, I wish I hadn't done that. He really regrets shooting that lady. No, no time to sleep. Can't stop at the motel. Gotta keep going. <laughs> I bet 47 really needs to take a piss right now. <laughs> Okay. Huh. Are we almost getting there? I don't know. South Dakota have, uh, oil pumps or whatever they are. Ah, here we are, finally. In good old South Dakota. Oh, where, look at that guy. He's just hanging out there at Mount Rushmore like nothing ever happened. Yes. Yes, you so beautiful. He needs to take that jack to the fucking dry cleaners already. So, oh, this jackass, too. Yeah, from his birdie. You better have a good reason for dragging me out here. Hey, I'm here to offer my services. You see, this kidnapping of yours, I'm worried that you have no idea who you're up against. I'm Bertie. I didn't know you cared. Let me take a closer look. Is this the face of a man I can trust? Tom <laughs> is dead. Courtesy of the bald guy. And that means you need a new man on the inside. Look at that fucking jacket. I just can't get over that. Up there than me. Am I right? No, Bertie, you're not right. Cause see, I got the girl. And that means I don't really need you now, do I? I wonder if he came into wait, work wait, wait, at the wait, wait, agency wait, like cool, that. Man. Come on, please, listen. Look, you don't understand. Do, do you think that he came into work, you know, and sat down and in his cubicle covered in shit job. like that? That's what I do. Or maybe he just got into <laughs> oh, birds Bertie. after he retired. You can't make a simple trace on your phone call? It's a beautiful day. Bertie, uh, who is, uh... the hell is her name again now? Uh, Jay. Who Jay? Yeah, who's that? Fuck you, man. Oh, oh, wrong answer. Oh, now that's the wrong answer. <laughs> uh. Damn, I love this country. A man can become anything he wants to be, as long as he's got the brains and the cojones. Okay, 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 this is a low level. Agency, bitch. The agency? Are you telling me the agency's connected to Victoria? Yeah, he's trying to tell you that from the fucking beginning, <laughs> moron. <sighs> well, Danny Trejo's there is pretty jacked, huh? If you screw them over, they will find you. <clears throat> but if you let me be the middleman, can't you see if it meant enough to them to send a fucking hitman? Don't you see she's got to be worth millions? Millions. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Oh, you're good this time, Bertie. You've been very useful. But if I see your weasel face again, I will bury you right yes, here. Yes, please. Please do that. Fathers. I can promise you that. Please do that. You know I Fucking will. snitch. I'm cool. I'm cool. You fucking... You need to wash that fucking jacket of yours. Well, you got another thing coming, man. I got a But you know what really bugs me about this guy is that he clearly shaves and he clearly cleans and washes his hair. I got a surprise for you. You know, the rest of his clothes are fairly clean, but he's got shit on that jacket, which means that he specifically chooses not to wash that jacket. That I, that <laughs> he's got an eyeball shifter. That figure is way that fucking cheese ball. And also, 47 is driving the fucking speed limit because he doesn't want to get pulled over. Pretty smart. Okay. Look at that fucking skull. <laughs> Wade was such a fucking loser. 
All right. Oh, I guess we made finally made it to fucking hope, huh? <clears throat> All right. What the fuck happened to this place? Looks like someone dropped a fucking bomb on it. <laughs> Great balls of fire. And apparently that one belonged to Lenny. I don't know why. Oh, right, because Wade took it from Lenny. I remember that. Limp Dick Lenny. All right, so here we are at the Great Balls of Fire. And, uh, it sure is a shitty place. But you know what? It's better than the last stage. Why is it better than the last stage, you might ask? Because it's very short. All we need to do is get to the bartender. But before we do that, let's have a, let's have a quick look around. Oh, let's pick up a bottle. You could always use a bottle, right? There we go. Uh-oh. Looks like there's trouble. Uh, that guy looks kind of familiar. He's back in town buying equipment. Oh, oh, is that so? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, what kind of equipment might that be? Just equipment. Business equipment. Oh, I see, I see. Uh-huh. Big businessman. Well, uh, you just watch yourself now, because, uh, we don't care too much for strangers around here. I'm not looking for trouble. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with this guy. He looks pretty tough. It looks like something happened to his nose, too. Oh, but he, he's smiling. He's having a good time, see? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's not bothering anybody. He just looks mean. All right. What else is around here? Oh, there's a painting of a cowboy. Or something? Dude, yeah. listen. Seriously, I'm not looking for a boyfriend now. Just back the hell up. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, don't flatter yourself, buddy. Hey. And there's a painting that's not even finished on the wall there. Football. What? No suit, no tie. Well, we don't have a tie. I mean, maybe it'll let us through anyway. Oh, hula girl. Alright. Excuse me. I... Oh. Sorry, buddy. It's not a public area. Yeah. Yeah, we, we won't be allowed in there with our current attire. You know, they don't really care for suits, even without the ties. So, what can you do? Well, there's a couple ways to get on the dance floor and to the bartender. I love big veggies. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's something they made for the game, or if that's just something they found somewhere and decided to scan into the textures file, folder, whatever. Okay, so, I'm gonna go through this grade as soon as this guy finishes drying his hands with air or something. I don't know. There you go. And turn around. Alright. Let's go through here. Now, this is the first way you can get past. Now, this guy seems to notice you in the grate, but he doesn't really do anything about it. He turns around in a minute. If you just wait, and then you can sneak up on him and choke him out if you want. Uh, by the way, interesting point. As far as I know, there's nowhere to hide bodies in this stage. It's kind of strange. So, if you choke anyone out, you can't make those nice points day, back. Huh? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Second way is to start a fucking riot. Uh-oh. What are you looking for, stranger? Trouble? Yeah, you get knocked the fuck out. Don't fuck with Kane. Son of a bitch. Boom. Yeah, he's like Batman. Pussy, biker. <laughs> oh, he shouldn't have said that. Damn. So anyway, now that we've started a bar fight, all we have to do is walk our way to the bartender. Um... If you're not good at QTEs, then, uh... Oh, trying to catch me from behind, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> if you're not good at QTEs, this level's gonna be really hard. Because you either have to sneak through, or you have to do a bunch of QTEs. I remember the first time I did this level, I had a really hard time with that. And, uh, I'm not really sure what this guy's doing, but Kane doesn't seem to mind at all. Hey, buddy. I think, uh... I think we want a chance at Kane. 
All right, Kane, you ready, you motherfucker? Let's do this thing. Come on. Hiya. Oh, you're countering me, huh? All right. I'll counter this. Boom. Yeah. You get another broken nose. All right. Hey, Kane. Kane and Lynch 2 sucked. You fucking jerk. Ugh. I hated that game. Okay, I don't think so. Boom. Now, uh, there's three people you can dress up as in the stage. You can dress up as the bouncer right here. Let's knock this guy out. Uh, you can... Oh. Can you dress up as one of these guys? I don't think so. Alright, get out of my face. Right, so another way to start a bar fight is to steal this this glass of beer. But uh, that's not necessary anymore, so yeah. Um, what else? Right, so I took the key card off the banister there, and it goes to this room right here. There's not much in it. Um, there's some evidence if you're into that kind of thing. There's uh, a shotgun. And some ammo. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Absolutely nothing else. Pretty boring. So now, uh, the only thing left to do is make a slow, plodding advance to the, uh, the bartender. And I've gotten pretty good at, uh, gotten pretty good at the QTE, so... So it's not really a big deal. Whoa. Man. This bar fight's epic. Someone just got... Whoa. There we go. There. I noticed, uh... Damn, he got thrown right through the fucking... Right through the fucking wall. Anyway, I've noticed that, uh... I get a lot of the same animations in the stage. I don't know if it's just luck or if that's just the way it is in this level, but... Yeah. You can also dress up as one of these guys. Jeans and red shirt. Not really sure what's a good way to do that. I guess you could take the outfit from that guy who got thrown through the wall back there, but uh, once you start a riot, there's no point in changing outfits because no one will bother you for being in the dance floor with your suit on. I've had a few beers. I'm ready to take anybody on. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there, folks. And in case you're wondering, is there anything else in this level? Is there anything that I missed? Well, I don't think there is. I mean, maybe there is, but uh, the Great Balls of Fire is a real short level. Oh, here's a tomahawk that you're not allowed to hold or else you get in trouble for. Now let's talk to the bartender. I work here, okay? Please don't hurt me. I just work here. <laughs> Tell me where he is. Oh my god, his tattoos are floating off his arm. The tattoos in his right arm were floating off of him. Okay. Secure, huh? Yeah, right. How's country life? Local stream, you okay? Let's fucking snitch again. Hmm. Moving in present, huh? Ugh. <sighs> okay. So that was Great Balls of Hope. Fire. Whatever. Um. Not really much to say about it. It's a really short level. It's kind of nice seeing Kane, but it's also depressing knowing that uh, if there was a Kane in Lynch 3, it's been cancelled. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, I think I'm going to put in an extra thing. Oh, here it is. The matchbox in Wade's pocket has led me to the Great Balls of Fire, a rowdy roadside bar on the outskirts of Hope, South Dakota. If I find Lenny, I find Victoria. I made a promise to the girl and to a dying friend. So far, I have let them both down. I will make this right. Lenny. Dexter, Travis, 
they are all going to pay. <laughs>